We're kicking off the Christmas season today on the Express with all kinds of ideas for shopping local. On today's show. Christmas at Highcroft is the start of your Christmas season. It just gets you in the mood. Christmas at Highcroft. They get to see the process. It goes to creating a belt or any art piece. Bird on a Wire Creations. It connects the uh, end product with the consumer. When you want to separate a plant. The Pod Drop-In Art Center. It's pretty awesome. The Regional Assembly of Text. I've always loved making things. See that and more local expression. Wow, that looks really great. Welcome to our Express Arts and Crafts Special. I'm Johanna Ward. We have some classics today on the show like this, Christmas at Highcroft. And we also have the Circle Craft Market later. We've also got new kids on the block, starting with Main Street's Bird on a Wire, where they practice the 100-mile diet with local creators. You have done sketches for the window for me yet? Unger Strickland opened Bird on a Wire Creations just over a month ago for one reason. Well, I opened it because I have a great passion for the arts and for creating and supporting them and shifting the um, belief of starving artists to thriving artists. Artists like Sherry who makes her own soaps. I feel motivated to, to do more with the business because she's really helping me yeah, promote it. Bird on a Wire is amazing. It's great here. I love how she supports the local artists. Bird on a Wire carries local creations, many of which are made from recycled materials, but it also functions as a space for people to connect product to person. That's why they bring artists in to show how their art is made. I think it connects the uh, end product with the consumer. They get to see the process that t it takes to uh, create a painting. Well, if I were just to look at that, I wouldn't get that, how much work is involved, how much craftsmanship, how much process there it goes to creating a belt or any art piece. Having a permanent space on Main Street also offers Vancouver's community of makers a place other than online or at craft fairs to showcase their work. You want to have something that you can try the different sizes, feel them, interact with them a little bit, and get a feeling as to what you think other people will get out of using them. This provides a consistency. You know, someone who saw you at a fair can say six months later, oh, I know she sells at Bird on a Wire, and go in and find that product later on when they say, I need something again from them. I want to provide a place for other adults who have thought about painting or thought about knitting or thought about doing a craft to know this place is a place to do ish, paint ish, draw ish, knit ish. And what that means is it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just connecting with that inner child, with that ability to play again. I'm Erin Shaw in Vancouver for The Express. Bird on a Wire Creations is all about community involvement. They have a knitting night on Fridays, and they also really encourage people to come in and practice a new hobby without the pressure of being perfect. You can find out more at the website. Of course, if you're looking for a little perfection and some Christmas inspiration, then we've found it. It's a winter wonderland at the 38th annual Christmas at Highcroft. Christmas at Highcroft is the start of your Christmas season. It's been going for 38 years and it just gets you in the mood. The house is just beautiful this year. As always, the mansion looks amazing. How proud are you every year when you guys put this together? We're thrilled. We're thrilled to see so many people coming out to enjoy this beautiful mansion. You know, next year it will be 100 years old. The theme this year is Winter Wonderland. We have new nonprofits upstairs in the boutiques. We have new artisans downstairs in the basement. Tons of food, jams and jellies and chutneys. Just awesome. An annual tradition coming to Christmas at Highcroft for Jean. Uh, what do you think of the house this year? Oh, I think it's absolutely fabulous. I want to move in. 
and the architecture is amazing and uh, the decor is just beautiful. I think we're very lucky to have a house like this in Vancouver and also open to the public. I'm from uh, the University Women's Club, CFUW, Canadian Federation of University Women, Richmond branch. Every year we come and give our time to supervise the rooms and help. We also get in free and we get to shop. <laughs> That's the real reason they come. Awesome. It's stunning and it's always different. It's just an inspiration for Christmas. So it's always great to come. So I came down principally to, to uh, look at the architecture of the building. But uh, along with my wife and daughter. Nice. And have you noticed that um, you're actually in the minority here? Not a lot of men around today. No, no, there's a lot of, uh, yeah, an awful lot of women, but that's fine. There's some very interesting, very interesting things to look at and to, and to buy. So. The money raised for Christmas at Highcroft through not only the tickets, but through our raffles and through our Christmas shop are used to uh, sustain the building because we're the stewards of Highcroft at the University Women's Club and also towards our scholarships and bursaries. For you guys, is tradition really important? You certainly see that around the house and the way you've restored it. When the women purchased the house in 1962, that was when women couldn't get mortgages, but they worked really hard to raise the funds and to purchase the house, and ever since then they've worked very hard to restore it and maintain it. Another tradition here at Christmas at Highcroft is stocking up at the coach house because that's where all the baked goods are. And we're going to pop over there a little later. Right now, kids are getting in on the artsy action at the pod, which is East Van's new place for developing your inner artist. Put it in, so drop it in there. Have you got a budding artist at home? Well, there's a new spot in East Vancouver where their talent can really grow. We offer painting classes, book arts classes, textile arts classes, and we also do an exploration and art class. The Pod is a new art center for kids age 4 to 14. The Pod takes kids on a drop-in basis, and parent Chris Berry says that makes it practical and easy to bring his son Teo here. You never know. Uh, you know, when you're picking them up after school or how long it's going to be or if they're playing here and want to do this or if they even want to go. You can mix the tropical with the tropical, but the succulents, you have to just use the succulents. So. Today we're going to be making terrariums, which I love. I love little miniature little, little lands. What we're basically doing is building like a jungle in a jar. But you can come back and keep scooping out. We get uh, mason jars. You fill it with, with a mixture of clay and charcoal and put, put soil in it and then we put plants. Do you like doing arts and crafts? Yeah, I do a lot of things in art classes. I uh, made a pretty awesome terrarium. Do you like arts and crafts? Oh, I love them. And what do you think about your teacher? She's pretty awesome. Looks like this project includes plenty of dirt, a favorite for most kids. Oh, the kids loved it. The kids, I mean, you know kids, they love getting dirty. So far, he looks like he's having a great time. <laughs> yeah, he's playing with dirt. And was it okay that you guys got a bit dirty here? There's lots of soil everywhere. Mm, it's okay. I'm used to it. One hour with a lot of plants and dirt, and the kids have really let their creativity grow. And that's exactly what Carlin wants to see more of. It's a place where people can come and, and make art and you know build confidence in their creative ability, but also it's about community. It's about feeling uh, welcome and, and, and feeling supported and encouraged. That's my favorite part of the pod, is just watching their little faces. They get so excited. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in East Vancouver for The Express. Did you do one? Wow, that looks really great. Okay, so when you want to separate a plant, and if anyone needs help with this, I can come around. Friday night, it's date night at the pod, so the parents can go out and enjoy themselves while the kids take an art class and watch a movie. The website is thepodarts.com. Now you are watching our Express Arts and Crafts special from Christmas at Highcroft, and we have more traditions and more talent to showcase coming up. After the break, Artisans at the Circle Craft Christmas Market. Of course, as we all come together, it's sort of just like a village, you know. It's really, really fun. It's just become a tradition. It was one of the first big Christmas fairs in the city. Your chance to win tickets to Homes for the Holidays. You're watching local TV on the Express. <laughs> 